Hi, this is Randy Nordell, and this is episode 14 of the SimNet Instructor videos. This episode is on the SimNet Gradebook and reports in SimNet. So you can get to grades a couple different ways. You can click on the grades button here, choose gradebook, and then select the course to take you to the gradebook for that course. You can also go to courses, uh, select your course, and if it's starred, you click the gradebook icon here, gradebook button, and that will take you to the gradebook. You could also view all your courses and use the actions menu and go to the gradebook. I typically use uh, go to the gradebook from the starred courses. So I'm going to click gradebook here. This takes me to the gradebook for this course. If I wanted to change the course, I can do that by uh, clicking this drop down list and selecting a different course. Each of the individual assignments are columns within the grade book. Um, a few navigation things. You could click, if you click the edit assign button up here in the upper right, uh, this will take, this will open in a new tab, the edit assign area, that area in SimNet where you typically drive. You add content to your course, you take out content, you could adjust the settings of content in the edit assign area. So it's nice to have easy access to that. You could filter information within the grade book. So you could filter by um, specific users. If you want to email specific users, you could do that. If you want to do a uh, filter for a specific assignment, um, uh, if you want to filter for specific assignment types, a SimNet exam or a project, you could do that as well. You could also filter for um, grades that meet a certain condition, all, all condition or any condition. And that could be uh, students that have, um, that did not turn in an assignment for a uh, particular a, a SimNet assignment, uh, students that scored less than 70% on a particular assignment. So all sorts of things you could do with filtering. Some other buttons here are the toggle. This opens it up into full screen. This will refresh uh, your uh, columns and rows, the data within your gradebook. You can download the data from your gradebook. Um, the help and info is helpful in that it'll show what these icons mean. So I have icons in the gradebook here. These are syncing icons. These are just says it's late. But if you're unsure about those, if you click that, um, it'll tell you what these different icons mean and the different syncing icons as well. And last one here, the gradebook actions and settings. Column order is something you'll use probably to arrange the columns in your gradebook if you want to do that. Um, that's common. The columns here tab will show details about each of the different assignments within there within the grade book and then the scales and scales template that's if you're using a simnet as your grade book that is going to give an overall grade you can you can create scales and do that most users just sync the grades from the simnet grade book to the lms and use that as their main grade book i'm going to exit out of here there are three main ways to look at data in the gradebook. You could look at uh, a student and just get information about that student and the grades from that student. You can look at an individual assignment from an individual student and change the grade. You can view the number of attempts that they've had on, say, a project, something like that. Um, or, or you can look at a, an overall assignment. So I'll show you those three different ways. So I'm going to I'm going to click a student here and on the right hand side, the user settings display here. Um, give me information profile about the student when they logged in and and last log in as well as do they have all the required modules, which would be the SimNet access codes required for this particular course. And this one says they have and then um, is it is it paired with the LMS and, and it is here. One helpful thing here is you could view a student report. So if I click the view report button, up will come this information. That same student information is now displayed on the left, this user settings and um, information about all their grades and assignments display. Very helpful. I'm going to click the back button to take me back to the grade book. And I'll close the user settings pane on the right side here. 
And this another way to view information is by viewing a specific assignment for a specific student. So if I wanted to go in and view an assignment for a student, I could click on that particular cell where, where that grade is, and it'll give me information about the student. It'll say if I want to excuse the student from the assignment or if I want to change the student's grade. Um, just click the different student here, but I could change the student's grade and give them 100 points or whatever on that. Um, as I scroll down here, I can add a comment to the uh, student's grade. I can see that it's been synced successfully and the time and date, all that. If, if for some reason it did not sync successfully, there would be an icon by the grade here and I could resync the grade. Rarely ever happens, but, but occasionally. Um, low grade history, this is what I use mostly. This will tell me how many attempts for this particular project the student has has done. I could delete an attempt. I could go look at the report of uh, on this particular attempt. And when I do this, it's going to open in a in a new window or a new tab here and will give me information about this particular student, this particular assignment. It will show the detailed feedback that the student sees when they submit a project. Um, I could also download the start file. I could see the solution file. I could actually see the student's file here and the instructions. So all sorts of information that's helpful. For, and you can get to that easily from the grade book. I'm going to close the grade settings. And I'm gonna to go to now, the third way is just looking at an assignment. So I could click on a column heading to display the column settings for that assignment there. And it'll give me information about that, about that assignment as I go down. And I can see that it's all been synced, everything's good, all the grades for that, for that column, that assignment are synced. One thing here that's helpful, if you wanted to change um, all the grades for an assignment, it gives students, it give everybody up to 100 points for one reason or another. If you click the view details button, it will open this up and I could select all the students or select, you know, any any number of them. This is a great way to change grades, bulk edit grades for an, a particular assignment. So that I can click the adjust selected grades and you'll see there's all sorts of different ways to uh, adjust the grades here. So if ever you need help with anything in the grade book, um, you can hit, click the help button and that will give you contextual help for the grade book. I'm going to cancel out of here and go back to the grade book, close the column settings. And that's a grade book. It's, it's fairly easy to navigate around. Again, mainly what I use the grade book for is to go and look at an individual grade for an assignment. And that information displays on the right hand side when you click on and when you click a particular grade. Okay, let's go look at reports. Reports is a way to extract information from the grade book. And you get there by clicking the grades button. And there are, view. you can view reports or create reports. And for each course that you have, it's gonna automatically create a course overview, a class overview report, okay? These reports are very helpful in that it's gonna show all the information about all the different assignments in the course. So each of the students, the projects that they've done, all that, it's a good just overview report. And those are, again, automatically created for you when you create the course. So it will populate, I'll go, I'll click a, open up a particular class and view the class overview report for that class. And as I click a, a type, an assignment type, all that information about the students, the number of attempts, all of that will display in here. And I can drill down and look at that information. So this is a class overview report, very helpful. I could also create a custom report. I can click on grades, click create report, and select the type of report. So, and you'll see here all sorts of different types of reports available. Um, you could do a project objective analysis report, which would show how the students uh, 
met the competencies of the student learning outcomes from that particular project, uh, exam, SIMNET exam report, or a question analysis report, see how they did on each question, a whole bunch of report types. So if you're ever you're unsure of what these types are, what they do, if you click the help button, Contextual help will display, I will show you one of the options is report type. So you can go see the different report types. The help button is very, very useful. Get, get used to using that and, and great contextual help. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and choose the project objective analysis, type a name for the project, and then the details of the project will be down below that I can fill in. Select the course and campus textbook i only need i just want a particular project here that i'm going to create a report for and a bunch of different settings here that you could choose from you could if you have multiple sections you can group them all together or not uh, click next and that report will display and it shows me here how the students did on each of the slos in that particular project so Grade book and reports. I hope this was helpful. Again, the grades button here will get you to most every, everything you need. And uh, have a wonderful day.